everybody welcome back I have got a Dollar Tree haul it's long overdue I haven't really needed to go to Dollar Tree for a while but today was a good day so let's get started shall we and it is so cloudy outside so I had to turn my bedroom light on and the lighting's caca but it is what it is so here we go I got me some chicken crackers I haven't gotten these in the longest time, but they are so good and chickeny. You don't even know. They are so good. They are so good. They're better than chicken in a basket. These are chicken crackers by Baker's Harvest. So anywho, yeah, go get you some. I know you'll love them. I needed to get spaghetti, and lo and behold, I found some spaghetti. This is the Columbia brand, plain old spaghetti. I don't know, it kind of feels like it's all broken up, but that's okay because I break my spaghetti up anyway. Maybe not. Um, I got my husband some sprees. He loves these, so I got him some candy. And then, I don't know, this was just, most of this stuff was just dumb purchases. But I got myself um, a pack of these basket bags for Christmas. Sometimes I just need a big, large bag, and it's always good to have them on hand. And then this is also a two-piece basket bag, and it's just in red. So... Yeah, I got those. And then I also got two of these smart fries, which I will try in just a minute. Um, 280 calories for the whole bag, or 110 calories for half the bag. Um, serving size is one ounce. And there are 2.5 servings, so whatever. So I got the aged white ch cheddar, and then there's a, there was another flavor, but I can't remember what it was. It didn't look, sound good, though. So I got two of these, actually, because I'm like, well, what if I really, really like them? I better get two. So I hope I don't waste them. But they're full. I can tell these are full. It's not just air. 100% crunchy as well. So we'll see. And they're, oh, I was going to say gluten-free. <gasps> they are gluten-free and non-GMO and 0% guilt. So I'm excited to try those. I needed some straws, so I grabbed some straws. This has 200 or 150, but they also had a pack that was um, 200. But... That one seemed like they were a little bit skinnier than these. These are pretty skinny straws, and I use them when I um, drink my smoothies, and sometimes they're a little too skinny for my blueberries, you know, my pureed blueberries. And so I didn't dare to get the 200 ones because they seemed a little skinnier than these, and I just didn't want to deal with that. I thought I would try these Gain Glad bags um, just for the bathroom trash. We have a great big, in each of our bathrooms, we have a great big trash can. And so these are a little big for them, but they still fit nicely. So anyway, they smell nice. So I thought I'd just give them a try. Let's see how I like them. I've never had them before. I also got the love bug some nerds. He loves nerds. Have to make sure that these things aren't already opened, you know. He's been dying for some crybaby bubble gum. Gubble gum. So I found some finally. I spot him one bag because he likes to just chew the sugar out and then he'll start on another ball. He'll eat that whole bag in one night. So I just got him one bag. He needs to learn how to pace himself. So here's the other 
fry, smart fry. And then, holy crap, these Lysol wipes. A huge Mondo bag for a buck. And they were stocked. They had tons of them. You get 80 wipes. And so I just went ahead and picked some up. I just bought three canisters of wipes at the store the other day. But I'm just going to keep these in the kitchen because they're nice and flat. I can just keep them somewhere. But heck, you can't beat this huge pack for a buck. This would probably be like four bucks at the store. I don't know. And then we're almost done. I just wanted some of these itty bitty plates. These are paper and they're the 24 count. I find these in the party section. So the ones that are in the regular paper plate section, you get less. So when you buy your paper plates, always get them in the party section because you always get a little bit more. And then I got three of these candy canes to put outside to hang outside off of the lights that are on the garage, you know. And so I got three candy canes. I actually do have some of these from last year, but they're just round and they look like ornaments and I was going to use those because they're perfectly fine. I used them last year and they're still good but the candy canes are so cute and so I just went ahead and grabbed them because they're only a dollar. So I only needed three. And then my favorite thing, I love these. I grabbed a few of these last year for my tree and they are adorable. You just twist the top and they light up. They're so pretty. And then when you're not using them, look how pretty they are. And they're quite big. And I hang them on the tree. So um, I found there were five left today at my store, so I grabbed all five. I wanted like six or eight of them. But, and I made sure they all worked. You just twist this little knob here. I just love them. They're really pretty. So I can't wait to put them on my tree. Okay, and that's it. That is it. So let's try, I want to say chicken fries. Chicken crackers. Fries. Anyway, let's try these smart fries. I've never seen them before. I'm excited and I'm hungry. Okay. Ooh. They smell like cheese. Here they are. So you, they're filled to here, which is great. They smell like cheese. Hmm. They're salty. Here comes beggar butt. She has to check out everything I eat. They're all right. They have a nice crunch to them. They kind of remind me of the flavor of a muncho, but a little more fried flavor. And they're really, really crunchy. Anyway, that's it, you guys. That's what I got at the Dollar Tree. Mama! I can't give her any because she'll throw it up. I will let her lick my finger. All right, everybody. That's it. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.